Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Eucharist to experience once again the love of God for us. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us make ourselves less unworthy to encounter Jesus. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, though sinners, we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed, Stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may, lack the, 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 may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
after much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you that through my mouth, the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God knows who knows the heart bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written, After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord, who accomplishes these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today our readings invite us to Christian joy. In our short gospel today, Jesus assures us that He loves us. Jesus says, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. And He invites us to remain in His love. He tells us that we could remain in His love by keeping His commandments. Jesus tells us and makes us aware of His love for us. And then Jesus said, I told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. A Christian is a person of joy because he or she knows that God loves him, that God loves her. A Christian is a person of joy because he or she is aware that she or he is loved. My dear brothers and sisters, isn't it that the awareness that one is loved is a source of joy? Isa sa mga pinagmumula ng tunay na kagalakan ng tao ay yung alam mo na minamahal ka. Yung alam mo na may nagmamahal sa iyo. Kapag ang isang tao binigyan ng katiyakan ng pagmamahal, nako, naguumapaw ang kanyang kagalakan. And so today, Jesus invites us to be joyful because He gives us the assurance of His love. Jesus tells us today, I love you. And so, you must be joyful always. In our first reading today, the apostles and the presbyters gathered in order to discuss how they should deal with the Gentile converts. And Peter spoke in the midst of the assembly. Peter spoke about how God also chose the Gentiles, in the same manner that God chose the Jews. Like the Jews who believed in Jesus, the Gentiles also received the Holy Spirit. The Gentiles also believed in the gospel of Jesus. And so Peter said, there is really no distinction between us Jews and them who are Gentiles. Sila rin, katulad natin, pinili ng Diyos. And in order to prove what Peter said, Paul and Barnabas gave witness to how God worked 
among the Gentiles. Nagpatutuo si Pablo at si Bernabe upang patunayan sa lahat ng nagkakatipon doon na totoong sinasabi ni Pedro, kahit sa mga hentil, may pananampalataya kay Jesus. God loves even the Gentiles, and this must have given them so much joy. This must have given them so much happiness because they knew that God loves them. My dear brothers and sisters, let us all be joyful Christians because a gloomy Christian is a contradiction of terms. Ang Kristiyanong malungkot ay isang kabalintunaan. And no greater harm, no other harm that, 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 can cause, that can be caused to Christianity than a Christian with a long face. Ang Kristiyano palaging masaya, nagagalak sa kanyang puso dahil alam niyang minamahal siya ng Diyos. And so let us always believe that God loves us. Because if we believe that, even in the face of problems and difficulties, even in sickness and in death, even in crisis and pandemics, we can still find reasons to be joyful. We can still be joyful because we know we are loved. God's love gives us joy. God's love makes our joy complete. Christ says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. Let us pray confidently, inspired by his words. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church may become a true community producing fruits of love and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That unbelievers may encounter God in the love of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That married couples may be faithful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers. Let us also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, hear our prayers and fill our hearts with your love so that we may always live in a way that pleases you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just like 
Kessler and Volker B. should break them with this love and the offering of the fight on the front of hands and the hard spirit should be the same regard to their work. Tumble speed in this situation. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis R. Pope and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, 
and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Na nang langit magsaya, Alleluia. Na kung dinala sa tuwa, Alleluia. Ay na buhay na magkuli, Alleluia. Ipanalangin mo kami sa ma, Alleluia.